Hi friends, in this session we are going to discuss about the additional features of the ER model. We have already gone to many topics in the DBMS. So uh, today in this session uh, we are going to do this topic. Uh, so if you hadn't gone through my DBMS playlist, please go through it. I'll give the link in the description box. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So uh, without wasting time, let's jump into the video. ER model consists of the following features which are additional to the ER model just like key constraints, participation constraints, weak entities, class hierarchy, aggregation, next key constraint for ternary relationship. We will now see what are all these topics in detail. Key constraints. So uh, key constraints or the constraints that will make a condition to satisfy uh, any query. That is, if a query satisfies that condition, then uh, the required implementation can be given to the end user. So there is a here in the above example we can see employee is a entity, whereas a department is also an entity. This employee has four attributes and department has three attributes. They are formed between a relationship manage. There is a restriction that each department is managed by an employee that is manager each department is uh, employed that in the sense as here we can see an arrow is represented between department and manager so this arrow represents the uh, key constraint that is this restriction is an example for key constraint the key constraints are represented by an arrow that is here the restriction that each department should be managed by an employee is given in the form of an arrow symbol this arrow represents the key constraints next we have the participation constraints uh, participation constraints are of two types they are like uh, total participation and partial participation mm, participation constraints is applied to an entity participating in a relationship set so uh, on the uh, uh, in the entities we perform this participation constraints uh, suppose like total participation each entity in the entity uh, set must participate in the relationship in the sense double lines represents the total participation single line represents the partial participation here partial participation is the entity in the entity set may or may not participate in a relationship that is it uh, it's uh, it's it's in uh, designer implementation that he can make it participated or not partic participated in the partial participation whereas in total participation it must participate in every the relationship every entity sets relation okay this is an example for that student is an entity and course is an entity enrolled in is a relationship student all the students must enroll in I mean, must enroll first that is all the students must register first but enrolled students can be allotted some or allotted with the course some or not allotted with the course this is a relationship that has been formed between these parts uh, by using this participation constraints here this double line represents the par uh, par total participation and single line represents the partial participation. Next, we have weak entities. A weak entity is an entity that does not contain a primary key. So, weak entities won't have any primary key values. It is represented by double rectangles. We have already gone through uh, many times about these weak entities. So, I am not pressuring this weak entity point here. So, here employee is an entity and dependent is also an entity whereas a employee is a strong entity and dependent is a weak entity and the relationship formed between the strong and weak entities are represented in a double uh, diamond shape now, all these features about entities and entity sets we have already discussed in the previous sessions please go through it as well if you want i'll give in the uh, description box as well the link and then we have class hierarchy the class hierarchy represents the inheritance concept where a super class may have some subclasses like e uh, forming a easier relationship that is a uh, hierarchical man manner like a tree like data structure as we have already seen in the previous classes so there are two types of class hierarchies just like generalization and specialization generalization is a process of finding some common properties of two subclasses having a super class entity just like 
uh, suppose uh, there are uh, one parent and the two chairs that is two subclasses have the same kind of uh, relation between them and specialization is a process of subdividing a super class entity into subclass entities is known as specialization that is intentionally a super class is divided into subclass so that it uh, maintenance and pro uh, process of uh, implementation is easy these uh, uh, what generalization and specialization uh, here specialization is subdivided into overlap constraints and covering constraints the overlap constraints determines whether two subclasses entities are allowed to have common attributes of superclass that is as we have already seen in specialization specialization is used to divide intentionally the superclass into the subclasses so that that simplification can be simple and here the overlap constraint makes sure that the divided two subclasses can contain the same entities uh, common entities or not and covering a uh, constraint covering constraint determines whether uh, subclass entities uh, include all the attributes of the superclass the overlap constraints make sure that subclasses should have all the uh, should have all the common attributes or not and covering constraints maintains that all the attributes of the uh, subclass are implemented and each and every super uh, all the attributes of the superclass are implemented in the subclass covering constraint is nothing but taking all the properties from the parents and overlapping constraint is nothing but sharing the common properties or allowing them or between the uh, the two subclasses is known as overlap constraints this is an example for the generalization and specialization specialization is a top down approach whereas generalization is a bottom up approach let's see what are all this employ hardly employees and con uh, contract employees are the three kinds of entities in our example employee is forming a relationship that is is a relationship with the hardly employee and the contract employee is a relationship is nothing but here employee is a pay super class whereas hardly employees and contract employees are the subclasses these subclasses can share the same uh, common uh, con common common attributes that's like hardly employees can have the waged and the constrained employees can also have the waged attribute these attributes are known known as the overlap constraint that we have already seen above and these hardly employee and contract employee if they take on the properties of the parent then they can be considered as covering constraint then we have aggregation what is this aggregation is the er tag in er diagram we represent relationship as associated among two entities sometimes we want to represent relationship among relationship that is uh, as we have already seen a uh, relation is formed between two entities with the help of a diamond chip if we want to relate some relationship with another relationship then we use this aggregation so uh, this will be done by using aggregation so uh, the forming of relation with the relation can be done only with the aggregation what is this let's see with an example here employee is an attribute and department is an attribute and project also is an attribute uh, sorry entities i'm really sorry employee department and project are the three entities and monitor is a relationship and sponsor is also a relationship um, here a monitor and since are uh, divided or two relations the relation a relation is formed between the two relations this kind of relations uh, formation is known as aggregation here relationship set sponsors is associated with the relationship set monitor so sponsors relationship is uh, attached with the monitor this kind of relationship formation we term it as aggregation next we have the key constraints for ternary relationship what are these key constraints for ternary relationships is and here in this example we have a employee and department and location are the three uh, entities for these each entity we have some attributes as well and working is a relationship among all these entities and employee works in a single location in a department as employee 
is going to work in a single location and department this restriction for tenancy relationship is represented by key constraints using a arrow from the employee to work in a relationship that is here as we can uh, see here the uh, constraint that is key constraint is mentioned here from employee to the work in the here arrow is mentioned because employee can work in a single location but he can't uh, work in a different kind of locations as company is located in a particular place so these kind of representation for a n number of relationships that is ternary relationships that is 1 2 3 as the relationship is formed between 1 2 3 three entities these can be termed as a ternary relationship and the key constraint that formed between these three ternary relationship is termed as a key constraint for ternary relationship this is all about the additional features of the er model in the further sessions we also do many topics in the dbms if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel if you had done gone through my dbms playlist please go through it and please don't forget to like this up uh, like and sub uh, subscribe my channel because it get motivated me to do more videos and thank you